I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. And here we have Sevilla against Real Madrid. So that's got things on the way. So this is round two between these two sides who have already met once this season. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? A guy born to be a footballer, Luka Modric. Always thinking about his next move due to the fact his, his technical ability is so strong, astute and intelligent. He's, um, he's such a talent. Can he put it away? Keeper. Some good stubborn defending there. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. It's Ibrahimovic! Real Madrid are unbeaten on the road so far. Oh, shell pass, that's the message there. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Played out to the right, and it's Iwobi. Benteke. Cuts it out. Neustetter plays it forward, and it's Benteke. Ibrahimovic with the ball through. Shot a goal! Referee's had a good look and given a corner. Referee brings the first half to a close. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. How would you review the first half? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Away again. Sevilla clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game. Modric! Goes for goal! Oh, great save! Real class! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Chip through. Real Madrid were grateful to the genius of their manager last time round. Well, Peter, you just can't argue with the substitutions. They were spot on and the timing of each were, were perfect too. That sort of decisive management is a winning formula in itself. A very nice shimmy to manipulate the space. And that was cleverly worked. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Played out to the wing. He's got away. Out wide to the right. Moran does well there. Alert. But there's going to be another change here. Looks to clip it forward. Shearer plays it out to the wing. Now here's the through ball. Is it in? In he goes again. He scored. Finally the breakthrough. Wow, well, he was never going to miss from there. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? So 
the manager making the last of his changes. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Real Madrid take the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Looking to shoot. Ibrahimovic, it could only be him. We thought it was over. It's all square once more. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. <laughs> Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. A game chock full of moments and talking points. It could have gone either way, but chose in the end to share its spoils. It ends in a highly entertaining draw. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Listen, the more this game went on, a draw was always likely to be on the card. So overall, I don't think anyone will be complaining too much about what they've got. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me. And we'll both see you next time.
The warmest of welcomes to all of you around the globe. We're just about ready to get going. The players will be with us very shortly. And here we have Sevilla against Valencia. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. Off we go then. Filippo Inzaghi. Dinks one in. <laughs> Header! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. It was such a clever idea to lift it into his path. Well, the first attempt hasn't quite drawn first blood, but they've got a slight edge. Passes it through. The referee's awarded a free kick. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Sevilla were imperious when the two sides last met and the fans are asking for more of the set. Towering header! Decent clearance now, can anyone get on the end of it? Sevilla! There is the breakthrough! Sevilla get themselves into the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Just brushed off the ball there. Granit Xhaka. And it's Ibrahimovic. So they got the own. Looking to shoot! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent... And that'll be the final action of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Sevilla happy to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. So off we go once more. Sevilla carry a one goal lead into the second half. And that has put a stop to that. Into the channel, Valencia have their manager to thank for the last result. Yeah, he had a problem, but he was caught. Hits one! And a second time! And the follow-up! Sevilla have decided now is the time to make their final change. Up for the header! And the keeper's there to save. Oh, great save! In with a header! Ibrahimovic. Can he score? Shot a goal! Back of the net! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Sevilla get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Great leap! Surely that settles it. And time is up. Sevilla, a class art. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Sevilla will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.
So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Girona against Sevilla. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. The action has already started. Cuts it out. Oh, and he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Looks like a good ball through. Looking for a decent ball in. And he's made certain that won't get through. Tries a through ball. Sevilla are oh, the league's top scorers. Formidable in front of goal. Looks to slip it through. Sevilla were imperious when the two sides last... Heads it! Goal! Sevilla! And Sevilla score first! Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter... And the finish! He's missed, but not by that far. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Put it away! Ibrahimovic hits it! And he gobbles up the chance! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! He was really quick to react to the initial save and he has his reward. And it's half-time here. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Sevilla in control at half-time, 2-0. Here we go again. Jovetic steered out wide. He's had a shot. They are rampant. And they are cruising away. Just so calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. without reply this is becoming a stroll Rubinho lovely bit of skill can he find a finish yes he can and they are pulling still further away what a great header got plenty on that yeah I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved he gave it everything he had Sevilla totally rampant here. Plays it into the channel. Floats one over. Cut out in the nick of time. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. The referee's awarded a free kick. to the flank whipped in it's a brilliant interception Benteke with the ball through a oh, glorious and he's in for the header he scores well just another one to add to what has already been an incredible haul well I think we've gone past humiliation now this could be doing some real psychological damage 
snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Sevilla tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Now the pass. And it's Ibrahimovic. Almost nothing left on the clock here. Girona look as though they are missing out on the big European prize. So what now? Jovetic goes wide. Oh, sweet feet. And the finish! Ibrahimovic! There is the final whistle. Oh, a great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Yeah, and a result that was true to form. A big team beating a, a not-so-big team. And a lesson dealt. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening. I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. And our live game is Athletic Bilbao against Sevilla. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. It's the whistle. Great strength, too strong. Inzaghi! And he's done it! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason. Hits one! Danger averted for now. Cordoba looks to slip it through. He's made sure that that won't get through. Out to the flank. The Marcos sends it forward with interest. Now he's wondering who wants it. Goes for the cross. Boots it. He's tried one. Just off target. Inaki Williams did give it a fit. The shot's on. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Gets up to head it. Rubinho played out to the right. Spreads it wide. Can he deliver? Fires it in low. And he's there to cut it out. And the first 45 minutes are up. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with their first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Sevilla leading 1 0 at the break. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Look at the shoots! Benyat battles to win it back. He's left it, shoots! 
He's gone for goal! And that's off target. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Has a pop! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up. He's had a shot! And that really should have hit the net. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but can he put it away? Sevilla are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Sevilla take a huge step towards the next round. They have the all-important away win. It is theirs now to lose. Yeah, clean sheets and hard grind will help you go places, and they have a resolve that'll envy many. Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome one and all. And our live game is Sevilla against Athletic Bilbao. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to him. Has a hit! Oh, surely that deserved better. Beautifully worked to take the defence out of the picture, but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this. So what now? Oh, he'll be annoyed with himself for not getting there. Tries a through ball. He's made sure that that won't get through. And it's Okazaki. Now the pass. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Passes it through. Jovetic. Can he deliver? It's a loose ball. Played out to the wing. That intervention was very necessary. Bowl. And if anyone is going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Aimed long and direct. Jovetic. Well, that had to be more accurate. 
that'll be the final action of the first half. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. Sevilla will be relatively happy. They've protected their lead and now the onus is on their opponents to start taking a few risks, which may play right into their hands. Sevilla head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Can he put it away? There it is! And a really positive start to this second half from, from such a positive character too. A captain who leads with authority and, and he took command in that instance to set his team up and go on and try and win this now. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Bong. Played into the middle. Tries to get it forward. Oh, it's quickly. die hard defence and the willingness to shoot. Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. He's gone for it. Yes, it's there. Athletic Bilbao are level. He's had a shot. The home support won't enjoy that. Jonathan Vieira fully appreciates that. He could have. He's gone for it. And no, he couldn't find the finish. Gets up to head it! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. This lead then looking ever more decisive in the context of what remains in the game. There is the final whistle. Sevilla through to the semi-finals. The trophy almost touchable. You cannot help but fancy them. Given the outcome of the first game, Jim, what are you thinking now? Well, they did all their good work in the first leg and knew that protecting their lead was the priority here. And I would add that it was done very professionally. So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Sevilla against Leganes. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. 
So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Who else but Zlatan Ibrahimovic, capable of executing what others are unlikely to even try. He functions with a, an outrageous edge, you know, whether you class him as... Ult How about it? Christian Atsu. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Up he gets! Goal! Sevilla! Sevilla take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, that goal has got the whole stadium rocking here. This is exactly... Has a pop! He scores! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Sevilla take a two-goal lead. And the half-time whistle goes. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position. So why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Sevilla in control at half-time. 2-0. And we're off again. Now the pass. And a header! They are rampant! And they are pulling clear here. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Stuck out a leg for a good challenge. Sevilla have played a lot of games just lately. Hits one! Oh, has a hit! They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Can he score? And in it goes! We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Leganes. Can he finish? And that would have won it. Jonathan Veer. Up to meet it. It's bounced out. Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Just brushed off the ball there. Out to the left it goes. He's made sure that that won't get through. And Inzaghi! And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Sevilla did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Sevilla simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us. It's the halfway point in this season's Champions League. 
knockout football from now on, it's win or bust. So off we go then. Forward it goes. And it's Jovetic. Kusha just wouldn't be beaten there. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Rabinho. Going through. Jovetic. He's had a shot. Goal! Sevilla! And Sevilla score first. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Sevilla take the early advantage. Brian Ruiz, Sporting Lisbon, can't seem to retain possession. Good clearance and very necessary. Ibrahimovic plays it wide. It's got through and hits one! Long and direct. Now he's wondering who wants it. Looks to thread it through. Gets good distance on it. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Tries a through ball. Up to meet it! Oh, taken with style! And it's another really good show of character. I love the spirit and togetherness they muster. Never know when they're beaten. Just so calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Sporting Lisbon. And a header! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Up he gets! And that'll be the final action of the first half. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals. One each. So they come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score, 1-1. One, one. And we're already into the... Tries one! sure that that won't get through there really wasn't very much in that and shoots goal Sevilla and they're back in front lovely goal perfect poise to set himself for the strike on the touchline a change about to occur Sevilla get themselves into the lead and it's Ruiz 
Wonderful quick feet. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Oh, hit and hope. Shoots! Oh, good interception. Chip through. He's got options out wide. Has a hit! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. from Jovetic a two goal cushion and it's looking safe <laughs> Sevilla take a two goal lead and are looking good for the win well that goal should be a big game changer it's certainly been a big mood changer Guardiola. He's got away. Jovetic. Looks like a good ball through. And it's Dumbia. Now the pass. In comes the cross. And that is that. Sevilla take charge of the tie. A win on the road. A first leg lead to carry home with them. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Sevilla simply imposed their strength from... I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. And our live game is Las Palmas against Sevilla. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. The action has already started. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Easy choice, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Nobody does self-belief better than him. In his mind, he's the best in the world and his willingness to express himself and experiment comes from a ready-made audacity. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Aite, Jovetic does well to read it and intercepts. Sevilla were imperious when the two sides last met and the fans are asking for more of the same. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Look, I know our vantage point is, is very different, but he looked on. Keeper goes long. Battles to win it back. Passes it through. Can he deliver? She goes for goal. Pulls out on the left now. Kennedy plays a clever pass. It's a loose ball. Defending was physical, no nonsense. And it had to be. It's going to be the final action of the first half. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Some first half thoughts. Unspectacular, but solid, and that's a little... Up he gets! 
Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Oh, it was such a clever pass that flummoxed the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. They're committing a lot of men forward at the start of this second half. They know that this is an important time for them now. <laughs> Looks like a good ball through. The shot's on! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. A throw in. Well, into the second half, and it's still goalless. And that's a throw in. Sevilla making another change here. Benteke. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Out to the left it goes. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And it's Kajeri. Cordoba. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably caution. Massive leap! Back of the net! And that could well be the winner! Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Sevilla take the lead. And the shot! And he doubles up the chance! And surely that clinches it! There really is no way back now! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. It isn't rocket science, is it? You know, when you're defending, you react to the danger, but of course, you must spot it in the first place, and they didn't. You know, they're not really looking up to pick the runners, and it was a cheap goal. Shoots! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Benteke is fully aware of how important that could have been. Probably game, set, and match. Tries to get it forward quickly. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Filippo Inzaghi plays it out to the wing, up to meet it, and more, and more, and more, and they are cruising away. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. without re and that's it Sevilla a class apart opponents torn apart they are comprehensive winners your final thoughts Jim Sevilla simply impose their strength from
the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Espanyol against Sevilla. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Thanks for that Peter and may I say a big hello to everyone. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Who else? Goes for goal! Oh, the kick has gone ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Towering header! Goal! Sevilla! However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, oh, you've got him, no, you don't. Brilliant. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Look, I'm sure that silencing the crowd would have been mentioned in the dressing room beforehand. And uh, just listen. Can he finish? He scores! And already they're looking to run away with it. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with. And to find it, I think it was a fine drive. And I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Sevilla get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other goes wide now here's the through ball some good stubborn defending there Kovacic now it's Dybala just brushed off the ball there forward it goes he's made sure that that won't get through Inzaghi! They are rampant! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! And we hit half-time. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround can he finish they've done it and they are pulling still further away Jim your thoughts it's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats they knew and yet they didn't heed and they've paid the price and deserve to He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Sevilla totally rampant here. Correa coaxed out to the wing. Chooses to go, shoots! And he's missed it. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Sevilla, look as though they're about to make a change. And it's Benteke, deftly done. Correa, out wide to the right. Crunching tackle. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. So what's he planning here? Gets it in. in with a header! Keeper always had the measure of that. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better? Especially from there. It's the channel. Pitch hits it! No, it's wide. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influencers out there. Change 
challenges here from both sides in fact that is a poor kick by the keeper being intercepted this defense is is weary about opposition pace so they're just not getting too tight yeah they know that if they they step up their their keeper could get a whole lot busier Benteke plays it into the channel Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. A uh, great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match, and if you can back that up with an early goal, it just energises everybody, the whole performance, and I think they were certainly more fluent as a result of the early goal. The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Sevilla against Real Sociedad. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. So this is round two between these two sides who have already met once this season. Who do you, Jim, see making the... Has a hit! Goal! Sevilla! And Sevilla score first! Real Sociedad didn't expect this, that's for sure. Inzaghi! That is gorgeous! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. And already they're looking to... Heads it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Surely! The Gielka did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Played it again. Neustetter. And we've reached half-time. What's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence a change somehow, but don't hold me to it. Sevilla sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. Mm -hmm. That gets things going for the second half. Jack Elka, out to the left it goes. Real Sociedad come into this match following a triumph for the boss last time. Well, Peter, you just can't argue with the substitutions. They were spot on and the timing... Towering header! They are rampant! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. 
Three in the last game, three in this one. He is a man on fire. Sevilla take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. That's the throw. Ibrahimovic coming on. Can he continue his terrific scoring impact on the competition? Real Sociedad uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Sevilla still have two substitutions up their sleeve. And it's for Tongan. Now he's wondering who wants it. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Well, better late than never, Peter, although it may not apply in this case um, after a hat-trick. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Real Sociedad opting to make a double change here. Now the pass. Januzaj looking to get up to head it! Outstanding save to keep that out. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and um, I don't think he knew either. Goes for goal! It's there! They are running riot here! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserved it. <laughs> Four in the game, he is the man. Severe. Ibrahimovic hits it! And he heaves it forward. And there goes the final whistle. Sevilla have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. But Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Sevilla showed us why it's so important.